All right, this is the one. This is the one that kills the Impala. Look how they mask with my boy. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural Season 7, Episode 6, Slash Fiction. This had a pretty cool, decisive back and forth between the real Dean and Sam against the Leviathan Dean and Sam, which got to go completely to town in a bank that actually is a, now a thrift store on the Langley one-way street. The fact that they did such a gruesome scene on one of like the most cherryish streets in Langley, like don't get me wrong, there are a lot of homeless in that area. And at the time there wasn't. It's funny to see the area back when this was filmed. So this was like what, 2011, 2012, because there's a restaurant called Choo Choo's in the background is not there anymore. It's now a Mexican restaurant, but this was a restaurant that my family and I would go to all the time because we knew the owner. But anyways, actually about the episode itself. It's a step up, it's fun, it's gruesome. <laughs> Oh, damn. We not only get this cool combat between bad Sam and Dean and good Sam and Dean, but at the same time, we also have Bobby trying to figure out how to kill a Leviathan. And we have a really fun moment with Jody in this episode. I always like when Jody's here. Never did a bad job, in my opinion. Maybe, maybe in the latter seasons, but she was fighting against the writing of Andrew Dabb at that point. But I always enjoyed her inclusion in every episode. Like The woman just naturally gives me a smile when she's in here and her accident of pouring borax on the floor which actually gruesomely kills leviathan when the fake bobby is his face is being eaten away or hell the arm for those of you who are canadian viewers if you've ever seen the documentary thin blue line i know that there's another film by that name but we made one about the drug issue in vancouver hell i think this was back in the 90s and Right when all of the skin started to pe eat away, it immediately made me think of some um, drug addicts they would talk to. The ants under the skin from cocaine use. Imagine doing this so much that you eventually find out there aren't any ants underneath your skin. Very gruesome idea, I know. I don't know how it got past sensor boards. We've got two good stories going on, Bobby figuring this out. A little bit of back and forth, maybe will they, maybe won't they, with Kim, or sorry, with uh, <laughs> Kim Rhodes, uh, Jody Mills. And then with Sam and Dean, the Leviathan versions of them is actually quite hilarious. I enjoy the banter between those two especially when they're in a diner and he's like this is disgusting how can they eat this and then sam's like this guy's full schizo that diner if it looked familiar to you it should because it's the exact same diner that they killed the mother of all in we actually get a surprisingly really good introduction to dick romanov the head of the leviathans as well and i love his interaction with crowley and crowley is completely shut down and in terror actually of this so it does help build some legacy, some kind of hierarchy to the Leviathans, even if all they are doing is just dipping people in ranch sauce and eating them. And I like how this episode comes to its conclusion, both with how they take down the monsters, with the help of the sheriff from Battlestar Galactica, and then the end of the episode, where Sam finds out just what happened to Amy, and he can't talk to Dean. He doesn't want to talk to Dean. So when they're at that pier, which is in Steveston, and Sam gets out of the car, he's like, that's it, I can't, I'm, I have to walk away. Is this a retread of what happened in season one? And technically speaking, what happened in season five? Yes, ish. But for once, it's actually kind of a distrust between the two. In the first season, it was them wanting to go in different directions because one was following orders and one wanted to find dad. In season five, it was Dean couldn't trust Sam anymore after what had happened in the previous season. And now in this, instance it is the opposite so it is not entirely the same thing it is slightly different the only thing that i find a little quite funny though is that sam's walking towards that pier he's gonna have to turn around that pier ends it doesn't like go anywhere he literally would have had to like walk and then turn around and come back because it just ends the pier doesn't go anywhere <laughs> it's a fun episode it is something that actually like made my heartbeat go up in terms of dead comatose because this was actually a fun enjoyable episode i know i'm not going to have this hope for the rest of the season but it's probably one of my more enjoyable episodes of the season so in the end i'm going to give this episode a five out of seven i enjoyed it it's not like superb, but it's still very good in terms of how the season has gone so far, and I enjoyed it. But those are my thoughts. Now, let's see what you guys have to say. Now, first off, for those of you who might have 
you know, seeing what I said in the last one, I understand that season seven's not fun. There are some who do enjoy this, but for a majority of us, it's not the greatest season. And I understand that you might have some criticisms with it, but please, if you are going to make some criticisms about it, just have them be constructive. Don't have it be a vitriol of hate. I understand that's how I was a little bit when I was doing season 12 and season 13. I want to be a little bit more constructive and also just want this to be a little bit more of a upbeat. Like, let's talk about the things that we didn't like, the things that could have been better, and the things that we do. So just keep that in mind. It took seven seasons, but they finally did it. I always wanted an episode where Sam and Dean had to hunt monsters that disguised as themselves. This episode is fantastic. It's one of my many, many, many episodes of Supernatural that you can rewatch once or twice a year and still give praise it deserves. I mean, where do I begin? Let's start with the positives, starting out with Jody and Bobby. The two of them have great chemistry, the torturing significantly when it, ch it changes into Bobby, the town to town killing sprees, and my personal favorite, Dean singing All Out of Love. Yes, that part was really great. I knew I, there was one part I was forgetting in the review. Now let's go to the negatives. I only have two. The first one is the revelation that laundry detergent, aka Borax, can l weaken a Leviathan. I'm sorry, but it, I couldn't have taken them seriously after knowing that. And the second negative was that the end scene where Sam and Dean separate, that this trope is becoming annoying. Also, one more thing. I always forget that Crowley was in this episode. I totally did as well. And then, yeah, I can understand. Like, I, I make a comment. Like, it's been done. I think we're, it's annoying because of how many times it would happen. But at least at this point, it was sort of a bit of a reasonable idea. But having watched the next episode and how stupidly easy it has been resolved is a bit annoying. Slash Fiction is an underrated gem in the Supernatural batch of 320 episodes. This is an episode concept that the production team wanted to do within seasons one through five, but could never figure out how it could be done in, in a one-off episode or tied into the bigger plots. It makes sense that the Leviathans would make Sam and Dean's life harder by hitting the previous cases they worked on. It's honestly one of my reasons the Leviathans are so underrated in terms of a monster, especially when it was a huge surprise that the FBI agents happened to be Leviathans themselves. Even though we discovered that borax sodium borate is a holy water weakness, more or less for Leviathans, I think it makes sense of to me of a purifying component would hurt them since purgatory is a Christian mythology in a place of purging souls and Leviathans were locked away in purgatory. I don't know, like, I get where you're coming from actually calling it the holy water it is good, but like, borax and sodium borate, like, dude, that, that shit's awful. <laughs> I don't know if I would call it the purifying component, uh, but a component nonetheless. I know it's a stretch, but funny enough, the dangers of sodium borate to humans are listed as an or organic uh, systemic toxicity, fertile damage, and unborn. Oh, see, you already had that. You already had it in. The reason I mention this is because some of the Christian mythologies would tell you that unbaptized children go to purgatory. Oh, yeah. We also get to meet the new big bad of the season, and then I'll share my thoughts on later. As well, it's still fun to see Dick, a representation uh, of corporate greed, scared Crowley, former king of Crossroads, representing snake oil for desperate souls to make deals. I also love that we are for shadow of Bo a deeper look into Bobby's character. Jody unexpectedly showing up at the episode made me think that it was a bit it was it would have made a better twist if she was a Leviathan. I really thought so too. I I you get those vibes a lot in this episode. But it's nice to see that Bobby gets some love after all he's been through. The big takeaway I love for the episode was the Leviathan Leviathan telling Sam that the real Dean killed Amy. Again, We've seen the brothers fight and separate, but I'll share my thoughts on the next episode why this season does it better than most in the latter seasons. I'll agree with you that the first part of it's okay. The conclusion of it is a bit like, ugh. There's a lot to digest in this episode, but I think it's an all exceptionally well uh, done. I'm excited to hear your thoughts and hope my comment wasn't a dumpster fire to read. No, it's a big one, but uh, if, you, if you can con concise them a little bit after this, uh, that, that would be appreciated, Joe. But I do, I do like what you've said here. It, it, there's a lot of good points here. Last Fiction was a fun episode. It makes the boys want, uh, making the boys want it again, uh, yet again. Frank was a cool character that was introduced that I thought was killed off too soon. Oh, Frank's the, that's the Leviathan who died, right? Is that who we're talking about? Who we're talking about? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Sarah Gamble definitely made some big mistakes as a showrunner, but she wasn't as terrible as Andrew Dabb. He's just plain stupid and lazy as hell. Well, we can all agree on. And those are your guys' comments. Thank you guys for those. And now uh, we got episode seven coming up next, so make sure to give me you guys' comments about that uh, in the comments below, and I'll read those off in the next review. I should be coming back from Mexico by now. Hope you guys are doing well, and I uh, can't wait to see you guys for the next video. And if you guys did like this video, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.